Number six, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a Bronsted Lowry base. And then we have letter E out of the bunch. So in this case, we just need to write a net ionic equation explaining how O2 minus can act as a Bronsted Lowry base. Now, side note, Bronsted and Lowry were just names of two scientists that worked independent of each other to come to basically the same conclusion about acids and bases. And in this case, what they noticed that with bases, bases always accepted hydronium ions, which are H pluses. So H pluses are hydronium. Later in the chapter, you will see me sometimes maybe write hydronium as H3O plus, but H plus and H3O plus in terms of significance are the same thing. Sometimes it's just easier to write H plus in a balanced equation, and other times you actually have to write H3O plus. It, it just depends. But in terms of this question, we're just going to be focusing on H3O plus, but just know that as like a side note. Um, so yeah, so bronsted lowry bases, they always accept the hydrogen from the acid. I kind of can guess that this is only going to be a base because this oxygen has no hydrogens to give. It has no H's to give, right? So it can only accept. Now, how do I write that in terms of a net ionic equation? You just write the base and the H plus on the same side of the equation. That way they can come together and that shows that the base grabbed the H plus. So let's start that off. So I have O two minus, and this is plus H plus. Anytime that you have a charged ion in a net ionic equation, it's always going to be aqueous. So we got to write those states, right? Gotta love it. <laughs> and now since O2 minus is not on my list of six strong bases, I am just going to write that this is an equilibrium. I really, really highly recommend you guys memorize your six strong acids and six strong bases. We did a lot of work with those, I believe, in the molarity chapter, but they will come back, so we'll go, you know, have a little overview of that again. Um, yeah, so now we have to write the conjugate acid. Basically, what you're doing is you're just combining your base and your H plus and turning it into one compound, aka the acid. So in this case, I only have two elements. I got an O and an H. So O, H, <laughs> right? Don't overthink it, guys. This is the H. This is the H right here. And obviously, this is the oxygen and the oxygen. Now, I just need to make sure I have the right charge. When you're converting a base into an acid, you always add plus one. You, you know, you plus one to the overall charge of what it was. The oxygen was originally a negative two. So I say, okay, it was a negative two, but since I gained or I accepted that H plus, I have to plus one. Negative two plus one is negative one. And you guys might notice that, oh, this is hydroxide, right? That's why it's just easier to kind of memorize your charges because they're never going to be the same. I mean, they're never going to change. So like OH will never wake up one day and be like, okay, I want to be a negative two now. OH is always a negative one charge. And since this is charged, it's got to be aqueous. And you're done. This is your final net ionic equation. Pretty simple, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. And let's keep studying hard. And good luck on your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.